The um, programme started about three years ago in 2008 with a UK-French uh, declaration which wanted to address the lack of European helicopters available for operations. Um, we started off looking at the reasons why there were not enough helicopters and we ended up focusing on, on training because we thought it was the, the best way of, of changing the balance and getting more helicopters um, ready to go. Well, in that three years we've um, had exercises with over 70 helicopters um, slightly more than 150 crews have gone through the program and uh, 1,800 people. So we know at least that we're reaching our target audience and that they are participating and of those that have participated, um, over 50% have then gone on to deploy to uh, Afghanistan. So I think that we are delivering uh, valuable training at a time when it's needed and to enable people to deploy. Well, this program is only three years old, so it's still in its infancy. Um, the first uh, exercise we had only uh, was in France with eight helicopters, next one in Portugal with 44. Um, so it is growing and it's growing quite fast. Um, I think that the main thing is that we try and to develop the program from exercise to exercise. We make each one slightly better, more focused and, and actually more complex. And we try and build something that's sustainable um, into the future. Um, the needs of our member states. Um, at the moment, Afghanistan is the, is the biggest operation ongoing and people wanted to be able to practice in hot and dusty conditions. And in Europe, there are not many countries that have the weather conditions that allow that to happen. Um, Portugal is one and we were very grateful when Portugal agreed to host uh, the next exercise.